Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining the Sapo CRM Deep Dive on the Office 365 calendar integration. Today, we are going to have a look at the integration between Sapo and Office 365 and how that works. So if you have a Outlook calendar already set up, it looks something like this. Um, and so we're going to explore about how it looks when you add actually a meeting into Salpo and then how it displays back on your Outlook and then what editing any of that looks like um, in the process workflow there so that you can manage your um, calendar initiatives through that function. So right now I'm on a contacts profile page. To get to a contacts profile page, you can either use our search bar up at the top right, um, navigate to them through using a filter, just scrolling on the contacts list view page or finding any of the hyperlinks where their name is throughout the system and then access clicking on their name there and getting to their profile page. The communications um, and activities and tasks are all stored under the communications tab on a contacts profile page. So when you first navigate to the profile page, you'll land on the overview one. So just quick navigate over to the communications tab to see the list of uh, communications activities tasks that you've stored against that contact. So right now I can see that there's a scheduled communication and a bunch of overdue ones and then some uh, just a standard note here. So the integration works specifically with scheduled communications, meaning anything that's showing as scheduled or overdue. So these are ones that are stored in the system as actual like tasks for you to follow up on. So in order to add a uh, communication into Outlook, I'm going to hit the communication tab option. I've got my communication um, add window modal that pops up here. So let's add something like a uh, webinar. And then I've got the attendees here. So Natalie and Addison. So Natalie is the end user and Addison is the um, contact whose profile I'm adding this against. I can add it with the date, specify specific times. So let's say it's going to be today from 10.30 to 11.30. And I can put any notes in here. Um, so let's say exploring how to use the calendar integration. So right now I've got Office 365 turned on. So we're going to take a look at that in a minute. We're just exploring the functionality right now. But I've turned I'm because I want this to sync over into Office 365. I'm going to tick this box right here. It defaults to ticks because it's a um, a scheduled communication. So if I want to keep this as a task private within the CRM, then I can untick this and it won't sync to my calendar. I'm going to go ahead and hit save in here and that will add the communication just like it does in Salpo. So you'll now see that I've got this webinar uh, scheduled communication showing here on my contacts profile page. Now if I jump into my Outlook calendar, you'll see that I've got two different meetings set up for today. We just scheduled this one called a webinar. So now let's say I actually need to change. I've just heard from this person and I need to change any of this. So I'm going to open up this and I can um, respond based off of this because I wasn't the organize organizer, I can't edit it. But if I am the organizer and this is syncing over into my calendar, so this is um, showing as if it's from Addison's calendar. If I had been the organizer, I'd be able to come into here and edit it. Um, that way that you can, so if you wanted to respond and say, sorry, I'm busy, or um, I just want to like change how it's viewing within my calendar, things like that, I can do so. I'm also going to get an email notification from um, Natalie, who is the user that scheduled that communication, and it will pop up looking something like this. So this one just says a follow up on demo, but it will open up in your email outlook just like it does any other one where you can accept um, respond to tentative decline. And then that information will sync back onto your outlook calendar. So you'd be able to see it here. Um, and so that's how the whole process works, ultimately, that you can add the communication within your SAPO system. And because you've synced it, it uses this email address to send the invite to the participant. And then that participant can respond and it will reflect on your outlook as the participant is responding, but it will stay as remaining within this, commun this uh, communication just that you've sent it there. We don't show if it's the person has been responding or not. So then how do you set all of this up? On the right hand side of the screen under your username, so mine says Natalie D, 
I have an integration section. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the integration section and you'll see that it's already marked as active. But if it's not, I'm going to have a little setup kind of option here, connect. So I would go ahead and hit connect and it's going to ask me to enter in my email address. If I'm already signed into my Google Calendar, it will be it's smart and it'll just say, oh, hey, we recognize one picket here. And all I have to do is click on that email address and it's done. The integration is set up. That's all you have to do. Um, if I ever want to edit that option, I'm just navigating back into Salpo now. If I ever want to edit it or disconnect, um, to disconnect, I just click on this hyperlink here, which disconnects it. Um, this icon here shows that there's a successful connection going. Um, and if I ever want to update or edit, edit any of this, I can come into the um, more details tab as well to investigate that further. And so that's how I set up the integration. That's what turns on in that ad communication tab, uh, the window modal that pops up where you select that you want to sync it into Office 365. And from there, um, that then sends a calendar invite out to the attendee and it stores against um, so that would be sending it out to, to the um, invitee in Outlook and it will store against your Outlook calendar. And then it will also store as a scheduled communication within Salpo against your own user profile page and that contacts profile page. If you want to do any and then again, edits can be made either in Outlook or in Salpo and the changes will reflect on either or so you can do either one. So if you want to know more or hear a little bit more about Salpo in general and how we're integrating and what other um, services we integrate with, don't hesitate to contact our marketing team with any feedback or to schedule a demo of the system. Or if you're an existing Salpo customer and want to just discuss your current usage of the system and um, want to run through a couple of case scenarios, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. Um, either way, though, someone will be uh, getting back to you shortly, whatever team you reach out to. So thanks so much for joining. We look forward to hearing from you.